Hey, hey, KSP fans, it's Thor. It's time for some more science. Welcome back to ELO. Here we are on the steepest slope I've ever landed on. <laughs> Even notice the uh, the flag over here. It's kind of, uh, yeah, leaning the wrong way. <laughs> Look at that. And uh, if I bring the controls back up, uh, he's not quite doing it now, but I swear when I first looked at Jeb, he had, he had a little lean to his head as well. So what we're doing today is obvious. We're going to uh, get this back into orbit, hopefully. Because if this doesn't go back into orbit, it ain't going nowhere. Uh, lots of good comments on the episode yesterday. Uh, I've learned, you know, like I said in the comments, you know, I always learn from playing the game and from your comments, which are so many, all the time. Not so many times, all the time. Good, good comments. Good constructive criticism. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. So uh, one of the things was that... Uh, I can store all kinds of data in here to take back. Um, I probably didn't use this quite as much as I should, although, uh, again, like I said in the comments, I used it a bunch off camera in deep space when I had to redo the mission. So it has been used. Uh, one of the other comments was, uh, you know, you didn't really need to bring this, could have just brought a bunch of experiments. I may do that next time if I'm not going to try and bring them back. Or if I am gonna try, if I am going to try and bring them back, just bring a bunch of experiments. Yes, yes, gotcha, Roger. Uh, the other one is a fun one. We're gonna get Jeb out here, and he is gonna fix what he broke. Jeb, my man, you broke my solar panel on your way down. Get you on your pack. Let's see. Let's let go and get you on your pack. You're gonna, you're gonna, you'd break it again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it wouldn't be KSP if I didn't face plant Jeb. All right, buddy, come on, get back up. On your pack, bro. On your pack. Let's walk up here and see if we can't uh, do a little repair action. Again, in the comments, I was told I can fix this. I don't have to, but I can. So I'm going to, hopefully, let's see, let's get on up here. Where is it? Did it completely break off? Or is it still there? I can't see. How close do I need to be to this thing to get it fixed? Hmm. Oh dear. Oh, easy now. Hey, hey, hey. Get off the landing. Oh, Jeb, the landing leg is on your head, buddy. That can't feel good. Now I'm scared to move him. Now I am scared to move him. Oh, man, that's crazy. That is totes cray cray. As my 12-year-old would say. Uh, I am not getting a selection on this. Oh, I know why. No, I've got that up. Does he just need to be closer? Hmm. I am not seeing a thing. A thing. Let's try and... Uh, yeah, we can... Uh... Oh, you bumped into it, Jab. Jebediah. Come on, buddy. Get up. Come on, I don't want to spend all day doing this. I don't know that he can repair that solar panel, guys. I am not seeing a, a repair icon. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if he can repair that or not. I can't seem to select any of these things. Hmm... Well, we're not going to need it, so let's just get back on board the ship. And, uh, yeah, we got to get out of here. We got to get this science home, hopefully. All right, all right zooming in, because this is a fun. There is some gravity on Elo. I'm guessing two thirds, maybe, something like that. I don't know. Uh, F, F. Yay, 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 yay. That worked out much better. Okie dokie. Okay, so we're here, we're clear. We're ready to try and get back in orbit. I'm definitely doing an F5 right here. Yes. Yes. Okay, so... Hmm. <laughs> Let's have a look at the map. Get a real good look at where we are. And how we want to fly out of here. So, yeah. We want to put it on the 90 and go around to the right. I want to put it on the 90. It looks like we're on the 45 in the opposite direction. I can go on the... Yeah. See, that's the thing, man. We gotta make sure the interplanetary... Whoops. My little uh, armrest just fell off. 
Uh, we gotta make sure the interplanetary drive and this thing are orbiting in the same direction because that is not one an orbital maneuver you want to go making. Reversing your, your orbit. God, I almost want to bring the orbital drive out here before I try and launch him. Uh, yeah. Let me think on that for a second and I'll be back. Okay, Jeb and I have come to a decision. This is what we're going to do. We're going to test this out. We're going to make sure this thing goes into orbit uh, before I go through all the trouble of bringing an interplanetary drive out here. So that's what we're going to do first. If we can get it into orbit, I'm going to do an F9 and reload this position. Uh, because again, I want to make sure I'm... I, I, I could probably be sure about the orbit that I get with the interplanetary drive, but I'm just not that precise with my maneuvers uh, like some of the other folks are. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it this way. That's what we're going to do. We're going to test it out, reload. If it will go into orbit, reload, send the interplanetary drive. If it won't go into orbit, then we're just going to transmit all of our science. And uh, Jeb, my man. Yeah, yeah, see, there's the lean of the head. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, yeah, computer controls are on, holding us at this position. That's fine. Ooh, this is always tricky. All right, uh, three, two, one, launching, launching. Very, very easy, 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 very easy. All right, we're gonna go up just like this, and then we're gonna start leaning it over. Yep. This looks pretty good. Let's get her over onto the 90. We are heading out, gear up. Don't need a very high orbit, but it does need to have a bit of altitude. The more altitude it has, the easier I think uh, time I'll have with the interplanetary drive. Uh huh. But it doesn't have to be huge. It but it does have to be in orbit. So I got to be really careful with this fuel. Can you imagine docking at 6,000 meters? I can't. That's why I'm trying to get a little more height. Let's get a little more height. A little more height. And now let's bank it on over for distance because I am re oh the fuel is getting really low. I got to put this all distance now if this is going to be in orbit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Really low on fuel. Oh, I don't know if it's going to be enough. Let's let's cut the engines. And burn at the AP. Oh man. I do have a little bit left in here, but it's just not enough to spread around to the four engines. I might be able to spread it to two? What would that be? 29 is almost 30. I need to put 15 in each. I have time for that. I got a minute four to put 15 in each. Oh boy. Alright, shall we try it? That's 10. There we go. That's a little more than I wanted. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, that gives it a little bit more. It's on two opposite engines, so it should be okay. Okay, we're coming up on the AP. Let's uh, let's get that burn going. Oh man. Oh boy, yeah, we got the two engines going now, and they don't have much either. Either. Oh, I get hit X, it's gonna go out of control. 
That's not enough. Oh no. Oh no. Um Let me think on this. Maybe we'll do a retry. Cuz obviously this isn't going to work out cuz I can't reland. Rot row raggy. Okay, so it's just not going to work. <laughs> it's just way too complicated for my little brain. So I have a few ideas for what we're going to do <laughs> as the world flies by. A few ideas for what we're going to do. Uh, this is not technically the end of this episode. I've got a little treat for you after this. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this particular mission. I'm going to send this science back. Uh, cause, yeah, I, uh, I kind of want the science, I don't know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to decide what to do about this later. I've got some ideas on how to refuel this and get it back, but that's going to take some doing. For now, I wish you all a happy, happy new year. Be very safe tonight. Uh, it is snowy and cold here in upstate New York. I hope it is warm and nice where you are, or snowy and cold if that's what you like, which is what I like. So with that, guys, here comes your Happy New Year treat from Thor at IRD.